Hey, it's Ginger. So Cooper and I exercise. He's over there, puppy Dylan. Found a bone. All of a sudden, start chewing. He sees me, he watches me, and he sees deer bones. Don't judge me. My husband's a hunter. Don't judge me. So I just picked up some hay. <laughs> I picked up five coastal hay. Yes, that's hay in my hair. Yes, that, this is real. I went to the chiropractor and I told him, hope I don't leave a trail of hay. And he laughed, he thought that was cute. And then later on when I went back, he was like, he was like, you did leave some hay. And I'm like, yeah, that happens. So I got some hay, sorry. This is my life. As I mentioned before in another video, if you see bloodshot eyes, it's because it's hay and dirt. Hmm? So we exercise, I got five bales of hay and Sorry about the chomping. All of a sudden, Dylan went over there and got a bone watching me. It's like eating popcorn, but him bones. It's supposed to build up their teeth. There's so much I want to say. There's just a lot of loneliness I feel in the air. I have the Bible right here. I'm like, okay, God, you know, my eyes are a little blurry. Got my large print out. Um, what do you want to, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to tell your people? And I was looking at these scriptures and like, ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I get excited, right? Because I write, wrote curriculum in my workbook, Come Near to God. But I wrote curriculum since 95. That was my starter kit, I think, for um, the workbook. And I, I get excited with seeing scriptures. Ooh, yeah, we can talk about this and that and that. And then just... A lot of loneliness and, and sadness in the air. Not only in Texas air, spiritually, remember I can see spiritual stuff. Uh, sometimes I block it out. To survive, <laughs> there's just a lot of loneliness. A lot of things going on in, on this earth. A lot of confusion and this and that. And... You know, I, I just want to give you hope. Are you feeling down? You're feeling lonely? You feel like it's impossible that God can help you? Do you feel like you're an outcast? Do you feel like you're all alone? People don't understand you. Do you feel like you want to give up and they just want to throw in the towel? Do you feel like that um, you, you can't uh, ask people for help? Or you feel like you're not worthy enough to ask for help? Do these sound familiar to you, any of these thoughts? A lot of people are going through this and I mentioned in another video about suicide if you're thinking of suicide and I didn't know I was going to talk about my stepbrother's suicide uh, event and I end up crying you know not uh -huh, but just you know tears but I, if I known um, beforehand I would be praying no Dylan I will be uh, repenting, releasing that sadness cluster in this and that. Because it makes us very sad once you leave. You're not going to have the mic. Okay. So he'll circle around, see? I don't want you to feel lonely. I know it's a lonely, empty feeling. Maybe you think you're all alone. You're an outcast, black sheep, whatever. But you know what? You're not alone. And, and you staying connected to the Holy Spirit is going to pull you through. If you need Jesus, you want Jesus, ask Jesus to be your savior, you know, the Holy Spirit will come in, God's spirit and live it within you. And if you already have the Holy Spirit, please don't give up. People care. They don't quit at before the finish line. You keep persevering. God needs you on this earth. I don't want you to give up. There's a lot of you I can feel in the air from Texas all around the United States. I can feel in other countries, most of the United States right now. And there's a lot of loneliness and depression and suicidal thoughts. That's not of God and you don't want it. God made you. You're fearfully, wonderfully made. God made, knit you in your mother's womb. 
He know, he, your path is ordained. He has wonderful plans for you. And you're not going to see it if you're going to throw in the towel. I'm not condemning you. Why is it airplanes every single time I do a video? I just there are Air Force bases around, but I just think it's kind of... Hmm? Never mind. Tuesday. Ooh. You just not to be like that. You are not alone. I'm pulling, I'm getting you in and out, in and out. I do it on purpose. It's a tactic. Get your soul to calm down. And to refocus that you are special. You are loved. You are worthy. You do matter on this earth. And holidays, it yes, a lot of people feel loneliness. Even, you know, I know clients that are married or they have a loved one, you know, family, all those wonderful things, and they still feel lonely. So you're not alone. There's a lot of people that feel lonely. Push through it, soldier. How? You're giving all the sadness and grief and sorrow, despair to God. God, take it from me. He'll build you up. Another deer bone. He'll build you up. Yes, I'm silly. This is how it is. <laughs> I'm talking about my dog eating a deer bone right here by the mic. He's obsessed with the mic. Moving on. Hope that brings some joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You want the peace of God ruling your heart at all times. And yes, bad things happen to good people. And good things happen to bad people. But a lot of bad things happen to good people. And you're like, I tried this, I tried that. You need to ask for help. When my stepbrother commits suicide, I immediately, even though my son was, I think, right before he turned one, I wanted to help the, uh, what's that, um, I forgot the name of it, where you could call urgent, you know, suicide hotline or something. But you had to do all this training and this and that. I was a stay-at-home mom. I didn't. The did ministries I started in 95, called, God called me in. I was willing. And you know what? You could be called into ministry too. You need to, this is not the boss of you. Your, your soul Take every thought captive, renew the mind. It's gonna be okay, God's gonna help me. It does look bad. It may look bad, your soul's like, oh no, doom and gloom. We can't make it, it's, we, you know, aboard ship. No, don't listen to it. This is not the leader. In your temple, the flesh, your body, it's doing things that you don't want. Your spirit, the core of your being doesn't want. These two like to do things what your spirit doesn't wanna do. And if, if your soul's like, oh, Doom and gloom, we must end it. And the temple's like, yeah, I just don't see any hope. Don't listen to that. You don't have to listen to that. Don't listen to the loudest thought or the quickest thought. Sometimes we do that. Or the thought that we think is true, this and that. You know, get your Bible if you have one or a free Bible app, right? And read. Get connected to the Holy Spirit. He needs you. He loves you. This is all about love and instructions and how to fight. You're a soldier on the battlefield, if you know it or not. The world is a battlefield. Ask God, do you want me to give up? Do you want me to destroy this temple that you created in my mother's womb? Ask him. You gotta break off that hopelessness and helplessness. Those two hang out, they're twins. I call sin and also demons, you know, twins or triplets, they're in clusters. But hopelessness and helplessness, you have one, you have the other, okay? It's very important to break it off and self-doubt, doubt, doubt into, in, about yourself or doubt and unbelief overview. That's how I see it, they're three triplets. So pity and victim, twins. Sadness, grief, sorrow, despair, loneliness, fear of loneliness, depression, suicide, hopelessness, helplessness. That's one big cluster. I call that the sadness cluster. What are you sad about? What are you sad about? I had a few people that passed away the past few months and then reminders of some others. It hurts people when, if you're thinking about leaving, we don't want you to leave. And I don't care 
if you're surrounded by toxic people, there's other people out there in watching this around the world, God's army out there, they have wonderful hearts and they're healthy and they love you. They spiritually love you. I know that that may not help, but there's always a rainbow. I like rainbows and horses. <laughs> Childhood thing. I still draw rainbows. Rainbows and you know, there, there's hope in the storm, okay? You don't believe me, talk to God about it, but you gotta reprogram this mind because this soul is trying to convince you or the enemy, Satan, demons, giving you negative ideas. Oh, you might as well end it. Oh, you know, doom and gloom. Blah, 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 blah. And the temple's like, oh, oh, oh. And then the soul's like, oh, I just can't get out. God's not gonna be able to help me. He can help you. He made the earth. Look behind me. Listen down below. The dog. Sorry, hay and dirt, like I said, and a little bit of wind. <laughs> I was in the round pen, a lot of dust, and then playing with the hay. So, why are you sad? Why are you sad? I do sessions, thousands of them, and, and some people come in and it's just like, whew. they don't even have to do it. Some of them go like this, hi. And I'm like, why are you sad? I'm telling you, why are you sad? Bad things happen to good people. Satan's the prince of the air. Scripture paraphrase, probably. You gotta press on. And stop watching all the, the news or negative stuff. You know, you bring uplifting, fun stuff. Make you happy, pure. Happy. Wholesome. That makes your heart happy. There's Bible story movies out there. I do have my favorite, The Passion of the Christ. I'll say it, I love it. I cry like a baby through that one. But I always feel grateful. Watch that one. There's others, of course. How can I serve you right now by being supportive you have a support system if you like it or not or you know it or not don't listen to your soul and your brain because it wants to be in control try to figure things out or what's around you or what's in you and then your temple what most of the time follows the soul and then your spirit this is the real you what your soul and temple did in the past doesn't define you you're the righteousness of God. Through Jesus, you are special. You are loved. You are worthy. You're the righteousness of God. And you're surrounded by toxic people, unhealthy people, or maybe you do have healthy people. Reach out to them. They're toxic, unhealthy. I would talk to God about that one. It, it, you know, do some ministry. Uh, join a church, healthy church, healthy. Ask God, he'll tell you if he's in that church or not. No expectations with churches too, okay? So you won't be disappointed if it doesn't go your way, blah, 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 okay? Join a ministry. Join a, a community, Christian, positive. Now listen, there's a lot of Christians out there. Christians hurt you. I understand. They're the all Christians are on all different levels, okay? I used to think they're all on the same page. I learned the hard way. And there's so many people that I looked up to. Oh, I love them and blah, blah, blah. No, they were unhealthy. They're not all on the same page. Everyone's on different levels, spiritually growing. And you're looking for the healthy people to hang out with. If you don't know any Christians, maybe there's some non-Christians healthy people at this time, seasons. Look on the web. Look on the web, uh, uh, sermons and this and that. I, God will tell you if they're off, off track or not, or misleading or wolves and sheep clothing. Don't be upset with, with the, everyone because a few people. 
I had to cut strings from a lot of people, but they're too toxic. I can't handle that. You, if you see my videos, I'm very silly and sensitive and toxic people, not healthy. Been there, done that, moving on. You need to ask God though. You're not alone. I'm gonna keep saying this until I ignore you. Annoy you, <laughs> my accent. <laughs> you can laugh with me, come on. <sighs> Deep breath, let's do a prayer, okay? You're not alone, holidays. Holidays, something about holidays, it's just like, well, I can see it spiritually, just kind of like, like oppression over people, you know, and oh, they don't have enough money for gifts, or they, you know, problems with family, or, or you know, or, um, they're depressed because they're single or they just got divorced or, you know, had a broke up, breakup or, you know, I mean, it could be a number of things. Dylan, I'm not talking to myself. I'm okay. I'm not, I'm okay. I'm normal. I'm talking to the camera. See if you could see him. No? Oh, he's going to hide. Okay. Sorry. I thought I was going to show you that I am not talking to myself. No, seriously. Seriously. Okay. You need to go. You need to go, big dog. You need, you need to back up, back up. Okay. No, he's not backing up. He's not backing up. Do you see, do you see what I did with? <laughs> he probably thinks I'm crazy talking to myself. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I'd rather you go eat a bone. Look at that, there's one right there. There's one right there. And I don't know how to edit yet, so you're gonna have to deal with this. Both of y'all. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, Dylan, that's enough. Go get your duck. Buy him toys. He knows them. He knows the words. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Back on to you. First of all, it's not all about you. It's about Jesus, God, Holy Spirit, and he needs you. He needs you on this earth. You need to start not thinking. He's bringing a big deer bone now. I said, duck, maybe he's not. Something about me being on here, he just wants to just snack on bones. It's just. <sighs> maybe I should just video him eating bones. I don't think y'all would want to eat the bones. They don't have skin or hoofs on them. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not responsible if he goes behind me and chews it or tries to bury it. Last year was sticking straight up out of the ground and the farrier came and it was kind of, had to release embarrassment, <laughs> your pride. You're just, uh, with the with the hoof and the skin, you know, the hair, it was just sticking up. Right where we were working on Cooper's feet and I was like, sorry about the deer bone. She's like, oh, I don't see it. I'm like, I know I'm silly, but you gotta bring some, you gotta need some joy and laughter it's gonna be okay. Jesus died on the cross, so he gave you the gift of righteousness that no human can earn or deserve. Therefore, through Jesus, you're the righteousness of God. Look in the other videos, you're special. In my workbook, it's called, I am special. That's who you are. You are special, you are loved, you are worthy. You do matter on this earth. You're not rejected. I don't care the whole earth could look at me and you, turn their back, act like this and that. And me and you grab God and Jesus' hand and say, we're not rejected through Jesus. You need to get this mindset, soldier. You're a soldier. You got Jesus, you're a soldier. Unless you want to be on the bench. But I'd rather you get back, on, get back in. People need you and it's going to make you feel better. And when God uses you, that it's you're gonna feel closer to him and you'll learn also and to bring up the confidence it's gonna be okay bring hope and faith and, and trust in God trust in God is the key trusting in God my stepbrother didn't I wasn't there for him let me be here for you please pray about what I'm saying also if I'm making sense right now it's been a long day this is my downtime during the day I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> my bloodshot eyes and can't get this dirt off my face. It's okay. We're humans. We make mistakes. Third round. Anyway, you hear it? Sorry. It used to be quiet. 
but I'm not gonna get sad over it and you don't need to be sad. You got a bright future. I don't care where you're at, what happened, but with Jesus, do things through Jesus. God, help me, Jesus, help me today. What do you want me to do today? How can I serve you today? And you'll feel better and better. And it's very important to repent this stuff. And you know what? If you want that layer off, I'll start you right now. You add to it, okay? Don't put this pressure that I can put everything in once right now, okay? Want more information? I have a Come Near God workbook on my website. I'll sign and bless it. And uh, I don't I only ship in the United States right now. And I'm working on other projects. When I'm not videoing, I'm trying to figure this stuff out. But you know what? God needs you. God needs you. People, humans, they need you. You may not know it or believe it, but you gotta okay, God's gonna you gotta renew the soul. Okay? That's where it's gonna start. Renewing the soul. If Satan is harassing you, you tell them, you make sure you got Jesus in your heart so you have so they will listen to you. And then you Go, Satan, go in Jesus' name. Demons, go in Jesus' name. Soul, calm down, Jesus' name. Negative thoughts, go in Jesus' name. Listen to the positive thoughts. Hang on to them. We want to get rid of the negative. Keep the positive, okay? So let's do a prayer. I'm gonna just—it's like a Kickstarter. You'll you'll go from there, okay? But there are people that care. Where do I look? Here, 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 here. I don't know. People care. They really care. Your godly family is out there. If you haven't met them yet, you will. Coop. Dog bone, dog chewing. The leg dog bone with the joint. It's just the bone, not the skin. And Cooper's over there snorting and the cows were looking at me over here. And I'm focusing on you because you're that special and loved. Let's do a prayer. If you're ready, okay? If not, put it on pause. Talk to God. You want me to do this or not? Don't listen to the negative. Reprogram it. Reprogram it. That means he, he wants me. There's no dirt over there, so he's watching me. Reprogram your, your soul. And I hope we bring you joy. Okay? I know God laughs at us. Sometimes I think the angels are laughing. And that's okay. Years ago, I wouldn't want that. Oh, whereas I was frozen, chosen, traditional religion. Mm -mm, I wouldn't like that. But now, laugh. If that could bring healing and joy in your life, please do. We're silly. Silly. It's like the Three Stooges. Me, Cooper, Puppy Dylan, and I. It's okay. I want you to, I want to bring joy, especially if you're feeling down and sad. Let me tell you the cluster. You might want to write this down. First pray with me and then let her write this stuff down. This is a layer. You got to get this off. First, you need to forgive the humans all involved and also yourself and God for not, re if your soul's upset, God did not rescue you at what time you thought he needed to do. I know a lot of people that are upset with God. I may need to do a video on that. A lot of people I have met they were upset with God because bad things happened or someone died. Look, I had a lot of people that died. I've been to more funerals than I have weddings. I, I was telling my friend the other day, I know exactly what flowers I have and the florist and all that. I got all that down. But if I go to a wedding, I'm like, what What kind of gift or what I wear? Or what do we do? I've only been to a few. The funerals, oh. Husband's side, I think it was uh, almost every year. You know, now it's like, I'm not going anymore. I already did my limit. <laughs> I got the flowers. I'll make it happen within the hour. I'll order where, where I send it. Okay, but we don't want your funeral. No. Bad things happen to good people. God's going to explain it to us later, sooner or later, okay? You got to trust in him and press on, soldier. You got a lot of things to do and don't say, oh, I'm too old. I'm 50, I feel like I'm just starting my life. I'm, you know, kids grown, I'm not traveling anymore. God sent a horse to make sure I'm at home, I guess to make videos for you. Wish they're very messy right now, but I'm working on it. What are you working on? Press through. There's a godly family out there. If you already know them, 
or not, or God's going to bring more in. Do not give up, especially these holidays. Holidays, do not get the holiday blues. I'm gonna be okay. Positive self-talk and scriptures. I'm gonna be okay. I, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Scriptures, positive self-talk. Whatever you want, God. So calm down in Jesus' name. Nope, there's hope. I have hope in you, God. I trust in you with all my heart, etc. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just throwing some scriptures, paraphrase. You go from there, okay? So let's pray. If you're ready, if you need to pray about it, put it on pause. Are you ready? Remember, bad things happen to good people. Saints the prince of the air. Paraphrase scripture. Yeah, it's bad things. I got a lot of people dying over the years, especially around this season. I'm not happy about it. I never leave really sadness because I don't want to get depressed about it. I don't watch depressing shows and movies if you're feeling sad. Just like if you have fear, don't watch horror movies. Or if you have problems with, with perversion, less than perversion and sexual morality, don't watch shows that have less than perversion and sexual morality in it. Pornography. It, it just feeds it. You don't need to, don't let, this is the real you, okay? This is the real you. This is the leader. Not this, not this, not the world, not the people, knock out the noise and the enemy. You listen to the Holy Spirit. Jesus, help me. I can't do it without you. I ask for help all the time. All the time. It doesn't have to be big things. It could be tiny little bitty things. I can feel God like she's going to ask. <laughs> I sent some more angels. Just help her out. I ask all the time, and he loves it. Dylan, I'm not talking to myself. I'm okay. I'm okay. He doesn't believe me. Cooper accepts it. <laughs> so you know I'm not making it up. Okay, let's pray if you're ready. Here we go. First, you need to forgive yourself for being in hurtful situations or people that hurt you. People hurt, especially the ones that love, they say they love us. I've been hurt. I could tell you some stories that will probably traumatize you. And I'm sure you have stories too. So lots of people and I've heard things. Bad things happen to good people and everyone has free will. Free will gets in the way. I would love for God to say, you know what? Just control us. We'll be all happy. And God's like, no, no, no. You got free will. What are you going to decide? Okay. So here we go. Repeat after me. I'm trying to get focus on my contacts and dirt. <laughs> say, Heavenly Father. I forgive all humans that hurt me in the past, especially, say their names, especially the ones that pop up in mind or spirit. Go ahead. You can put me on pause throughout this time. I don't mind. I forgive them for fill in the blanks. Make me feel bad, any control manipulation, not hearing my voice. Come on. When I say come on, that means I want you to connect to the Holy Spirit so you can grow each time we work together. I forgive them for not understanding me, not helping me. I forgive you, God, for not rescuing me. He's talking. I forgive. He says hi. I forgive myself for being in hurtful situations. No, it's not your mic. Not your mic. Not your mic. And I forgive you, God, and I forgive others. Okay. okay. I'm not wrestling. I'm not wrestling. I'm serious. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong. And there's nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with you. Okay? 
Don't listen to those humans. Don't listen to them. They'll distract you off the battlefield. Get back in the battlefield. God needs you. If you're having problems in this, you're probably a lot, you're probably got some extra spiritual gifts. You got probably, you know, lots of talent and God needs you probably more than others. That's how it usually works. I forgive all humans at 100% and I forgive myself and you, God, at 100%. He can handle it. He's perfect, but sometimes our soul and temple gets upset with him. He can handle it. Come on. He's God. And I forgive at 100%. I repent and release. You need to forgive. You still disagree with people, but you're letting go of the hurt and pain. And this is where we're getting the, we're getting the hurt and pain, okay? We're going to make sure this layer is off. I repent and release all unforgiveness, bitterness, resentfulness, anger, rage, hurt feelings, deep breath, sadness, grief, sorrow, despair, loneliness, fear of loneliness, depression, suicide, rejection, deep breath, neglect, abandonment, all unworthiness, you are worthy. Fear rejection, fear neglect, fear abandonment, self-rejection, self-neglect, self-abandonment, suicide, that could be in that cluster too. Heaviness and burden, self-pity and victim, hopelessness and helplessness, gloominess, loathing, self-loathing, excellent. What else you got? All stress, you stress about something? Come on, there's nothing wrong with me. Sadness, grief, Sorrow, despair. Do that one again. You need to do that sadness cluster a lot. All stress and anxiety. Fears. Fear of the unknown. Deep breath. Fear of being left behind. Fear of not being loved. Fear of being loved. Fear of success. Fear of failure. Fear of not making it. If you have kids, press on, soldier, press on. They need you. Number one ministry in my world. Mm -hmm. Married, married, don't know. That's a ministry. People that depend on you, ministry. They know it or not. Pray God, several. You don't have family. I know clients that are fighting loneliness right now because the holiday's coming up. And they're like, oh, God, I'm going to be single again for this, these holidays. We don't know. Don't judge God. He's overview. He sees everything. You got to trust in him. He's going to tell you sooner or later. And you're going to press on, soldier. Okay? Until God tells you to stop. Deep breath. Come on. What else? I repent, release, do it again. Hopelessness and helplessness, suicide, confusion, distractions, self-hatred. Got to be nice to yourself in a healthy way. Okay, it's important. And expectations I place upon the world, on you, God, others, names, and myself, name, full name, which I break off now in Jesus' name. Deep breath. I repent and release all frustrations and disappointments and discouragements, anger and rage. Hopelessness and helplessness. You gotta keep an eye on those two. Twins are very, very sneaky. I know, because when I do sessions, they're sneaky. And they try to hide the sins or the demons. What else? I repent and release any tradition, religion, false doctrines. Any occult or occult, just in case, because that could hinder you too, okay? Deep breath. Now add to this list, okay? I repent and release all my negative thoughts, words, actions, my sins. I give it to you, God, at your feet at the throne. I surrender my spirit soul 
and temple in my life. It belongs to you. It's covered by your blood, Jesus. Whatever you want, God. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to help me daily or by the hour or by the minute. He'll do it. He's very, very, very nice. I give it to you. Deep breath. Then I say, I pronounce you forgiven, my friend, in Jesus' name. All suicide, sadness, grief, sorrow, despair, loneliness, fear of loneliness, depression, hopelessness and helplessness, self-doubt, doubt and unbelief, self-pity, victim. Come out in Jesus' name. Anything from all assignments from the pit of hell, I cancel it in Jesus' name. All assignments of familiar divination, spirits, and everything from occult or generational curses of suicide, uh, mental anguish, go, trauma, go, in Jesus' name, deep breaths, I release trauma and mental anguish. There, there. In Jesus' name. I think you got your hands up. I'll say, I pronounce you forgiven in Jesus' name, all involved, go, in Jesus' name. Come Holy Spirit, fill my friend up with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Give them hope and encourage them, Holy Spirit, and let them seek your face all the days of their life and, give, and let them know they are loved and special and worthy. Repeat after me. This is another video. It's also in my workbook. Through Jesus, go ahead. I am special. I am loved. I am worthy. I do matter on this earth. I am not rejected do the finger I am not rejected I will do mighty things for Jesus for I'm the righteousness of God and you deep breaths you might want to say through Jesus and then I am special through Jesus I am loved through Jesus because if you have a lot of unworthiness a lot of people can't even say just I'm not rejected so if you're having problems with that people do do that and that is common when they have a lot of, of unworthiness and rejection cluster so it's important for you to keep at it you'll, you'll get better at it and your spirit will come out and connect to the Holy Spirit and then you're gonna feel better you may cry and get healing or, or supernatural joy supernatural peace you do Think outside the box, okay? God's there with you. God's on your side. Who could be against you? Come on. You're a soldier. I'm getting pumped up for you. you Got to work on this. Reprogram, okay? Because male or female, souls can be very dramatic. Oh, what was me? There's just no way God could help me. Lord, rebuke that in Jesus' name. Of course God can help you. He made a universe. He made... Look around. Of course He can help you. Yeah. Trust, depend. Whatever you want me to do, God, I surrender. Especially these holidays coming up. Do not get the holiday blues. Keep yourself busy. Help others. It makes you feel better. Do the, the another uh, video, the mirror, I am special. Look in the mirror. I'm special. I'm loved and worthy. Keep saying those words until you get a breakthrough. That means you feel the connected to the Holy Spirit. Airplane. That you would, you would feel connected and and do some fun stuff okay don't look at the negative focus on the positive positive thinking because you're, you're taking every thought captive renewing the mind telling your temple to behave in jesus name if you're self-harming you need to say i god i repent and release for it's not only self-destruction and self-rejection self-neglect self-abandonment go ahead but self-harming you need to take care of your temple. You only got one shot. Come on, you got to take care of yourself. A lot of you out there are not eating correctly. You're not, um, you're hurting, cutting, you know, a lot of stuff. And I'm not condemning you. I'm saying it's not necessary. You need to deal with those emotions. You're doing that because your emotions are suppressed. And the only one that I know that's going to take it from you is the Trinity, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And I've seen people suicidal that was able to help and um, that were self-harming in a lot of ways. And 
they gave it to God and they're doing great. So I seen miracles and you're a miracle, walking miracle right now, listening to me. Do not give up, okay? No matter what, no matter how negative and dark this gets, positive, positive self-talk, renew the mind, tell your temple to calm down. If you're numb, God, I repent, feeling numb. Okay, I'm not talking to myself. No, I'm not, I'm talking to my friend. Okay, you want your own show, you can do it later. It's Cooper, mostly. C Cooper's right there behind the tree looking at me like, maybe she is talking to herself. I'm here to bring joy and to teach you at the same time. No, no, no. No, no, no. Is it, is it, yeah. Yeah, Cooper's getting closer. I like sharks. Can you hear? This one just wants to breathe in the microphone. I don't trust this microphone, so I, got to, I need to hold on to it. So I'm sorry if you see it. In Jesus' name, deep breath. I got you off. I'm going back in. Thank you, God, for my friend. Come, Holy Spirit, fill my friend up with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Give them your wisdom, knowledge, revelation, counsel, and understanding, and fear of you, which they delight in. Remember, we fear in God, which we delight in, not the humans and what's going on in the world. God needs your prayers to help people around the world, not only for yourself and loved ones, but around the world. The army scattered out. We need to rise up. Okay? And you're part of that. And you're special and loved. For me to have hay in my hair, seriously, I did not put hay in my hair. It was there. That's what I do. I leave a trail of hay. My husband's like, what's all this dirt? I'm like, I swept three or four times already. <laughs> okay, two or three times. I leave trails all the time. Point is, persevere. Persevere, okay? God, only through Jesus though, only through Jesus. Until next time, if you are liking this, please do thumbs up and subscribe. I may do more about the loneliness and depression because it's pretty thick out there. And if you lost your job or loved ones with all the stuff going on, I, I'm sorry. Like I said, bad things happen to good people, but God's, God's gonna take care of you and take care of them, and you need to focus, okay? God has plans for you, okay? Now I'm gonna get emotional. Not gonna get emotional. You're loved, you're worthy, you're the righteousness of God, and you're not alone. Bye.